Useless, unnecessary suffering. Have you ever practiced that? I have, and it's something that I don't recommend. Which is stronger in you? Is it faith or is it fear? Now, I would be telling you a lie if I didn't tell you that I've had days where I've been filled with fear. Over the years, I've tried to overcome that, and the way to overcome that is through faith. Sometimes, though, we have a mountain in front of us that seems so looming, so, so filled with disasters <laughs> that we have that fear rise up again inside of us. That's when we need our faith to push it back down into its place once again. In 2 Timothy 1, verse 12, it says, I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that God is able to stand guard what I have entrusted to God for that day. My friend, we can take great comfort that God never sleeps. So, we can. We can rest in God. We can find peace in God. God promises that God will protect us. Read Psalms 121 verse 8 or Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. God does promise that God will protect us. Our job is to open ourselves up to God's protection and God's love. When we're filled with fear, we're like a closed fist. When we're filled with faith, we open up and become receptive to God's incredible comfort and love. We will quickly discover genuine faith, the kind of faith that allows us to trust God in every season of life. It defeats our fears. My friend, the next time that you are facing a fear-provoking situation, ask yourself, which is stronger in me? Is it my faith or my fear? And before you answer that question, take time to reflect on God's promises for life right here today and life eternal. God can manage every situation. God can solve every problem, and God can help you weather every storm. No challenge is ever too big for God, not even yours. You can trust God in every circumstance. You can trust God today.